Valley Run is probably one of the tighter vehicle-oriented maps, so the side with the most vehicles won't necessarily have the biggest advantage. The level itself follows the course of a river upstream, past a communication centre, and on towards a water processing plant. Base 1. Attackers, use the vehicles at your disposal, and try finding alternative routes, through the woods for example, and using the boat to flank can often be effective. For the first base you'll have artillery, which can really soften up defences for an attack, but watch out for teammates. This is the gatehouse of the complex, and as such is a natural bottleneck for defenders to set up shop. The opening is wide, but easily defended, however watch for attackers flanking you. Base 2. Attackers, vary your attacks without crossing the bridge. There's a lot of cover for a defender ambush, and you'll be in the fight of a static defense. You sometimes slip into the communication center if combat is focused elsewhere. The feeder, the comm center, is a fortress. Try to hold on as possible. Split the between the entrance, but watch out for the side entrance. There are lots of ambush points on the bridge and the fort. Mines and make the attackers' lives miserable. Base 3. Attackers, it's easy to get drawn into a pounding match, but remember that defenders have no reinforcements to lose, so we'll always come out on top. Push forward quickly, and try to use a variety of routes. Getting behind them can really disrupt the defences. This is more of a holding point for the defenders. There's no real cover, and if combat persists, it will really get worn down. Use a blend of short and long-range kits, and hold the attackers off as long as possible. They can lose a lot of reinforcements with the right mix. Be prepared for attackers appearing behind you unexpectedly. Base 4. Attackers, be prepared for defenders exiting the base. If they do, try to get in behind them. Solitary squads can take down a crate quickly. Because the crates are separated, the defenders will tend to spread. Focusing on one crate can often yield results. Defenders get their own armor, but the entrance is wider than it seems and the crates are well separated. Watch out for getting spread thinly. Try not to get drawn out. If the BMD-3 is in the courtyard, it can perform a very successful damage limitation role by reacting to the crate under attack. Base 5. This base can be tricky for the attackers. Wide open spaces and lots of cover for defenders make it difficult to get close to the crates. Try varying your route across the river. They probably won't have all of them covered. Clear a route for the Bradley. It can provide really effective fire support. Defenders, try to keep the attackers pinned back on the other side of the river. Be wary of single players crossing over. There's a lot of visual cover, and if one player makes it over, he can become four quickly. Try to stop the Bradley from crossing, and be aware that the silos are explosive. You don't want to be near if they go up. So that's Valley Run. Atmospheric and intense, and often balanced on a knife edge. Enjoy the scrap, and explore alternative routes. There's perhaps more of them than meets the eye.